I thought I would record this video to um, to show anyone who may be struggling with removing the what's called I think an intermediate shaft out of the 2003 to 2008 I believe Dodge Ram 1500 while doing the axle shaft replacement. So the way the system is designed is this is the axle shaft here. In this case it's the passenger side. This is the hub end here. And then this end here connects to this spline on the intermediate shaft and then this intermediate shaft is inserted through the differential and this is the pumpkin end here and it's got a little c-clip retaining clip at the end here so the way this all goes together is an inter intermediate shaft is in, in inside the differential you split it here as you're removing the axle shaft then you can remove the axle shaft and then you you're supposed to be able to pop this out freely out of the differential in my case it wasn't that freely um, apparently there's a tool that uh, you can get from chrysler a puller or a slide hammer or something um, you know that's what the chrysler technicians use when they're working on this uh, there's guys on google that say that you can just knock this out um, with a with a chisel here or whatever C grip C clamp, none of that worked. I tried it, uh, so then I made my own little slide hammer concoction here. So this is the parts I used and used and machined and used. Uh, so three inch by three eighths aluminum discs, two of them. And seven sixteenths by four and a quarter coarse studs, two of those. Seven sixteenths coarse nuts, two of those. Five eighths by ten inch stud, one of those. Five eighths nut, one of those. Two and a quarter by three sixteenths washer, grind ID to 1.210 inches and grind the sides I'll show you the dimension right away and then I use the retaining ring snap ring whatever you want to call that the dimensions exactly are 1.660 by 0 0.08 by 0 0.95 1.660 is the OD 0 0.8 is the thickness 95 is between on the ID and then I machined a block of steel. You can use anything you want as long as you have a 5 8 through hole. I, I machined a 2 inch by 3.5 inch long by 5 8 steel block. Okay, so the aluminum discs. One of them, number one, is drilled or machined to 1.210 inch ID. In my case, because it's so badly worn, you might want to measure um, use a caliper on yours mine is about 1.2 I give it 10 thou clearance or so so you might want to measure yours to make sure that you're pretty snug on there the snugger you are the better so anyway mine was machined to 1.210 inch ID on the first one and 5 8 ID on the second one and then I drilled 7 16 holes on a 2.17 inch bolt circle. As for the washer, I ground the sides to 1.73, so basically across the flats. And then the ID is the same as my 3 inch. Disc. Okay, so the way all of this goes together, 
Keep in mind this is in your truck. Disc number one. Washer. Snap ring. Voila! And that's how you pull this shaft up. Give it a few good tugs, the snap ring will let go.